Arr, me mateys, shiver my timbers, it's Captain Rogers of the Jolly Rogers, and if there's two things I know about being a pirate, the first is that we love our treasure. The second is that we love our fancy names. And today I'm here to teach you how to name like a pirate. So no, I am not going to talk in my Captain Rogers pirate voice through the entire video because I feel like that might get a little bit annoying. Um, but I do have a really awesome list of pirates, nautical, seafaring names for you guys today. I have a list for boys and a list for girls, and this time I'm going to start with the boys' names. So the first pirate name I have, I feel, is the quintessential pirate name. Um, there were many, many pirates get, uh, who had this name because it was probably the most common boy's name at the time, or a diminutive of the most common boy's name at the time, and that is Jack. And Jack is a diminutive of John, which was for many centuries the most common boy's name. And Jack was the name of several famous pirates, including the fictitious Captain Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. And Jack is just such a wonderful name. I love it so much, but it's getting pretty popular. Um, in the US and Canada, and Jackson is even more popular, which is a variant of Jack. The next name I have is Davy, and Davy is a variation of David. I think it is such a cute name, but Davy Jones Locker actually refers to the bottom of the sea, and so when someone talks about Davy Jones Locker, they're usually referring to a shipwreck. Um, and there are many myths surrounding Davy Jones himself, and so it's kind of an interesting um, name and there's some interesting stories and myths there. The next name I have is probably my favorite name on this list and it is a place name and that is Penzance. And Penzance is a city in Cornwall, England and it is the setting for the opera Pirates of Penzance. And I feel like this is such a cool undiscovered place name that could totally work on a baby if you are a brave baby namer. You could get the nickname Pen. Um, I just think it is really, really cool and I have a lot of Cornish blood in me. A lot of my ancestors came from Cornwall and some of them actually lived in Penzance and it was a port city so there were pirates in Penzance and I just think it is a very, very cool name. It could also work for a girl. Then I have Sparrow, and this is of course for Jack Sparrow, who is um, the pirate who's portrayed by Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean. And Sparrow is a really cute name if you like nature names, kind of quirky nature names. The next name I have is Silver. This was a name that was on my guilty pleasure list. Long John Silver is a fictional pirate from the novel Treasure Island, and Silver is such a pirate name to me, but I also like it because it's a precious metal and there are so many gemstones and precious metal names that are used for girls and silver is one that can work well for a boy. Then I have Jones and Jones is a Welsh name that means son of John um, and it refers to Davy Jones as well. Then I have a really cool nautical word name, and that is Anchor. And I think with names like Arrow and Archer getting so much attention recently, um, why not Anchor? Anchor is just a really, really cool word name. It refers to a ship's anchor, and I think for parents who are adventurous and want a word name, this could work really well. Um, or if you are a sailor, you like sailing, um, this could be a cool middle name choice. The next name I have is Bartholomew, and this is a name that I find people either love or hate. Um, it's an Aramaic name, it means son of Ptolemy, and Black Bart Bartholomew Roberts was a famous Welsh pirate in the early 1700s. Um, and Bartholomew, the only negative association is um, with Bart Simpson. Um, that one I can't quite get past, 
but if you weren't shortening it to Bart and you were just using Bartholomew, I think it is such a cool name. The next name I have is Roger, and Roger is a German name. It means famous warrior. And a Jolly Roger is a flag, any of the flags that pirates would fly to identify that they were a pirate ship. Um, usually, the one we're most fami familiar with is the Skull and Crossbones flag, although different pirates would have different Jolly Roger flags. Um, so that's what a Jolly Roger is. I actually didn't know that until I did the research for this video. Um, and so then, obviously, if the merchant ship that they were chasing saw the Jolly Roger, they would know to just surrender so that there wouldn't be a fight and they wouldn't all just get killed by the pirates. <laughs> and Roger is a name that I've never considered, really, because my last name is Rogers. So I never thought about it in a very serious way. I'd always joke to my brother that if he had a son, he should name him Roger Rogers. Haha. <laughs> but like now thinking about it, um, since it's my maiden name, Rogers is my maiden name, um, Roger could be a really cool middle name choice for me. And Roger is a name you just don't hear anymore. The only place I've heard it recently is in Mad Men. So I think it's kind of a different, interesting choice um, because you just don't hear it at all anymore. And the last boy's name I have is Cannon. And Cannon is a word name. And cannons were obviously very prominent in naval warfare by the 16 and 1700s when there were a lot of pirates and it was basically the golden age of piracy. So I thought Cannon was another cool word name that kind of um, fits in with some of the word names that are popular right now. So for the ladies, the first name I have is Calico. And Calico, I believe, was on my guilty pleasure list. Um, and I just think this name is so cool. You could use the nickname Callie. Um, it's definitely for a namer who is brave, but I think it's so cool. John Rackham was a pirate in the early 1700s, a very famous pirate. And he was known as Calico Jack because he wore a lot of calico clothing. So that's where the pirate connection comes in. Next name I have is Pearl. Pearl is a name that I adore. And the Black Pearl is the pirate ship in Pirates of the Caribbean. And it's also a gemstone found in the ocean. So I can't not associate it with pirates. I just think it is so cool and I love it. And it's such an accessible name. Um, it's such a cool word name. You just can't go wrong with this name. The next name I have is Anne. And Anne is a variant of the name Hannah. And Anne Bonny was a very famous female pirate. There weren't many famous female pirates, but Anne Bonny is certainly one of the most famous female pirates. And she was actually the lover of Calico Jack. And then another famous female pirate was Mary. Uh, Mary Reed and Mary is a Hebrew name that means sea of bitterness, which is kind of a fitting meaning for a pirate and she was a friend of Anne Bonny's. They actually sailed on the same ship and Yes, she's another one of the only famous female pirates and when they were both captured Anne and Mary were both captured They um, escaped execution by pleading the belly because they were both pregnant <laughs> The next name I have is Calypso, and Calypso is a sea nymph in Greek mythology and also a character in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, and I just think it's a very piratey sounding name, Calypso. Then I have Isle and Isla, and Isle and Isla are English and Scottish names that mean, the isle, mean island. Island could also be a name, but I prefer Isle and then I have ruby, which is a gemstone name. Um, ruby, pearl, sapphire, emerald, goldy, diamond. All of those names could be pirate names because they all kind of refer to treasure and buried treasure and just any kind of gemstone name sounds a little, a little bit piratey. Then I have the name Siren and Siren, Sirens were beautiful creatures who lured sailors with their enchanting songs, um, usually lured them to their deaths. 
But I think Siren is such a cool name, although I do think of like police sirens. Um, so maybe it might be better in the middle name spot, but I do think it's just such a cool name um, that I really don't like that police sirens are called sirens because siren is so beautiful. The next name I have is Harbor, and Harbor is a nautical term. It's a body of water where ships are stored um, or where they seek shelter from a storm. And then, of course, I have the name Sailor. I think Sailor is really, really cute. Um, I don't know how well it would age, but I think it is really cute on a little girl. And of course, it's a nautical word name. And then I think that any, um, using the name of any place name in the Caribbean um, or island in the Caribbean, would be kind of piratey. So some examples I have are Martinique, um, Lucia, Havana, and Dominica, which I think are all beautiful, beautiful names. And I think they would all sound kind of piratey because there are a lot of pirates um, in the Caribbean. So those are some names for girls that are a little bit piratey. Well, that's all the time I have to teach you land lovers about pirate names. The sea is calling me back. There's adventure to be had, treasure to find. Remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video, or you just might find yourself walking the plank.